Good morning, my friends, or afternoon or evening, whenever you're seeing this. I'm Dorothy Morgan. I am a professional astrologer for decades now. So um, what I'm doing in these little bits, these little tidbits, it's called Mercury Messages. Gemini, Mercury is my ruling sign, my ruling planet. Taking these little astro dice. Oh, don't go too far. <laughs> Taking the, I'm getting all excited. Taking the astro dice this is what they look like. You're welcome to find them on the internet. They're only less than 10 bucks. I don't sell them. So we roll them just to see what the energy, what, what spirit wants us to know today. And then I will, I end with these cards, one of these Oracle cards, because they're soft, they're nature, everything, whenever I'm in anything, whether you agree with this or not, I, I go back to nature when I'm stressed, when things are getting too heavy for me, it's out to the beach or into the woods. Cause I have that option where I live at this moment in time. However, let's get started. I'm going to roll these. What are they going to tell us? Oh, Jupiter and Capricorn in the second house. Well, isn't that interesting? So the energy for this moment in time, whether this is a message, it's going to be a message that you're looking, where you're seeking for. Jupiter is about expansion, knowledge, information, you know, sharing that content with others or, you know, deciding or figuring out what, what's your truth, right? Jupiter rules the sign of Sagittarius, all about truth, but exploring life. It's in the sign of Capricorn. So that's a bit restrictive. Jupiter's not necessarily a fan of that. So Jupiter wants expansion. Capricorn is about boundaries. And then it's in the second house of what we value and finances. That's called an astrological sentence for the new people, for the new astrologers, people who are still trying to figure out how to put it together. The planet, the sign, the house. Jupiter, expansion, truth, insight, what do I believe in Capricorn, which is around structure, foundations, boundaries, and even restrictions. So, and it's in the second house, which is what we value. We all have different values, how we earn our money or the money we earn and how we spend money. So what this tells me is there's a couple of, there's a couple of things that this can uh, play out as. Pay attention to your finances and don't overspend. Um, it's not necessarily about risking money, like gambling or things like that. It's not that at all, but it's about, yeah, <clears throat> paying attention to that. And so that's one component because that's what the second house is about, but it's also, again, what we value. So you can use this in your own way and what is, what are the values that you have and how you create beautiful things. I love that second house. It's like how I use my skills and talents to earn a living, right? I have Gemini in there. So I, I do that through talking <laughs> clearly. All right. So however that can work out for you, you can take that for what it's worth. And then let's see what the cards want us to know. A nice little easy thing. I am going to speak to Mars. I mean, no, I am going to speak to Pluto and Mercury because I have to, because they're conjunct today. All right. Walking in beauty is the card for the day. I'm going to put it over here. Yeah, try to see if I can get this without a shining on it. Walking in beauty. So it's a reminder, as you can obviously tell, to get outside, to find those things that are of beauty. Um, beauty is the second house. So it kind of goes along with that as well. What we value, what we think is beautiful. All right. And there's a lot of stressful stuff going on for many people, not everybody, of course. So don't take this on if it's not yours, but we have, I'm going to share the screen. Remember, don't take this on if it's not yours. That's what we got there. Here it is. Let me grab that chart. I thought I had it ready and I did. I just clicked on the wrong thing. Here's just the chart for my, my location, my place in space at this, just this moment in time that I'm recording. So don't worry about house placements or anything. I just want us to see that we have today is the day today, February 11th is the day that Mercury and Pluto conjunct for the third and final time in this whole, um, this whole retrograde of Mercury as it's been going through. Let me grab my ephemeris because I have notes in here. The first connection between the two was December 30th. <clears throat> the second conjunction was um, January 28th. And then we have this third and final uh, conjunction, which is February 11th. It's right around 9.30 Eastern time, but don't worry. It's been applied. This has been, a, been an applying aspect for, for um, quite a long time now. They've been within the conjunction range for weeks and weeks. 
So what's coming up? You know, I'm finding myself and, you know, no worries. I'm finding myself when I'm getting overstressed because I have just got a lot on my shoulders right now. And um, I find that I'm just like a lot's coming up. So I'm, sometimes I'm not able to even finish a sentence and I start crying. And so it's not what I'm going through right now. Well, it is. That always adds to it, of course. I'm no different than you. But I do believe that it is like old things, old understandings and processes, old beliefs that don't serve us anymore that are coming to the surface. So if you're finding yourself extra weepy, exhausted, this is not necessarily about anger, but anger sure can come up if it's something that you've been repressing. So it's not just the thing that's happening today or this week that feels difficult because if it is, it is, but it's, it's, I believe it's a conglomeration. It's just all of the other stuff coming to the surface that has been uh, really difficult for um, a lot of reasons, whatever your story is. And you'll find out what that is too. But if you were to go and see where uh, 27 degrees of Capricorn is in your own chart. So, and that will help you to understand um, what's going on, on in an additional, you know, more content. If you want help with that, I do sessions, DorothyMorganAstrologer.com. And, um, and the full moon is up, please. I, I hope that to, it'll be at the very end three things will pop up and one of them is Patreon, my website and the video for the full moon. The full moon is very important because it does trigger where the lunar nodes are in the sky and it triggers the eclipse that we had recently. So, um, oh heck, I wasn't prepared to talk about that. But um, anyways, go listen to that because I've already, <laughs> already put that content out there. So go check that out. And I'm going to stop my share. And um Oh yeah, always so much stuff. So join my website, get on my newsletter, go into the website. You can get the blog post is up. The written forecast is there as well. And um, just all kinds of stuff. That's just what I do. And thank you for your support. And um, I'll see you again tomorrow. Namaste.